How are we doing, y'all? Hopefully you are all okay, as my dog is trying to bug me. We are picking up directly where we left off in the last episode, at the end of what would have been, if I recall, Super Bowl 41. Which was the Indianapolis Colts and the Chicago Bears in real life. But here it was the Colts and the Rams. So, we're starting with the offseason leading into the 2007 season. And we are using the Patriots. Well, to give y'all a quick team overview here in a second. Honey, please stop licking my knee. We have a 92 overall. We have Tom Brady is still here. And we also drafted John Kuhn. We have Reggie Bush is our starting running back. Dion Branch here just got up to an X factor at the end of last episode. Wes Welker in the slot. Brandon Marshall, our other outside receiver. We have Josh Cribbs as well. Antonio Gates. X-Factor tight end, Kenyatta Jones, Adrian Clem, Damian Woody, Chad Clifton, and Matt Light. Still all here, though. We got some replacements in the wings in case of retirements or in the case of Chad Clifton not re-signing him. So, and Antoine, we have a lot of yellow. Uh, we have a lot of golds on this defense. Asante Samuel and Namdi Asamoah bookend corners. Tremont Williams as a star. Richard Seymour has easily been our best player so far on defense. Then we got Vince Wilfork, Darnell Dockett, OCU Minora, Jared Allen, OJ Otagwe. We do got to get better at middle linebacker. Then we have Adam Vinatieri and Steve Weatherford as our current kicker and punter. But we need to go in here. Oh, we still need to re-sign Dion Branch. And he signs up. Clem, we're going to let him walk. Brett Jackson can go. When he's 27 after his rookie deal, like, oof. Reggie Tung, we have his replacement. For the memes, I gotta keep Mr. Brock Lesnar. It's Brock Lesnar. I gotta keep him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tried to extremely lowball him, but that's not the point. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we have available at free agency here. Because as you know, Evan Mathis will take will step up as the starting left guard. We need a right guard, which I might address in the draft. Or my thought was to get Zach Strife on the line and getting reps. My thought was swapping Matt Light to right tackle, Ken Yada to left. And moving Zach Strife into right guard. Because that, that then that's a scheme fits and such. But that's a whole lot of adjustment. Let's see who is actually in free agency. We got a little bit of money to work with. Fred Taylor is the top one. Chad Clifton, obviously the best one available at right. I got bums at the right guard position. Brady James. That is immediate upgrade. I'll throw him a deal. Runyon, Tory Holt. Well, okay. Say less. I know the Patriots like to utilize two tight end sets. So... That's a thing. 
<laughs> Wiener. He's an X Factor? Well, he's only 80 overall in the 27. I could sign him and move him over to middle linebacker. Nah. I'll look into the draft for that. Anybody that I'm even remotely interested in? Nah. I do gotta get a uh, change of pace back, but we can worry about that later. We can kick that can down the road slightly. But Brady James and Jason Witten accept. Let's make sure there's no. Sh okay, no shenanigans. None of my people retired. And that's all we're pretty much going to do in free agency. I will see you at the draft recap. All right, let me get it to you live here for our second of two first round picks. Because we did trade out of the first round last year to get an extra first this year. We got Paul Pazlozny at 29. And at 30. Right now, the move is beast mode. Well, let's take a quick look at other things. Because we could run a cool two-headed horse with Marshawn Lynch and Ryan Khalil. I do need a center soon. Because I don't know how far I can kick that can down the road. Durant's there as an option. David Harris we could use. Move him over to middle linebacker. We got corners. I'm good with my three corners as it is. I think we're good at safety now. Unless I want to be that guy and make Eric Weddle a middle linebacker, but I'm not going to do that. I think the move here, because we have two second round picks as well. So we are going to pick David Harris to pair with Paul Puzlesny in the middle of our defense. And if Beast Mode somehow falls to 23 in the second round, you'll see him. All right, draft recap heading into year number six. Yeah, Paul Puzlesny here, 73, hidden dev. He is going to be instantly moved into middle linebacker in our defense. He drops five overall points. That's insane. Ugh. Hate it when it does that. And David Harris is going to go into middle linebacker as well. It drops him to a 69. Jeez. All right. But now, to preface, we already have Evan Mathis at left guard. Damian Woody's our current center, right? And we have we are going to make German Bushrod into a center because he's going to take over after Damian Woody ends up retiring by the way 67 hidden death and then Marshall Yanda one of the best guards in the last like 20 years I can only think of like one other guard even comparable to Marshall Yanda currently, and that'd be Quentin Nelson. But Marshall Yanda's gonna go into right guard in our system. Instant starter, because we did let Adrian Clem go too, I believe. Kevin Boss, 58 normal. He's literally there just for depth, because we just signed uh, Jason Witten as well. Then we have Mason Crosby, who is he? I drafted him to be the Adam Vinatieri replacement. Then further depth, Desmond Bishop, 62 hidden dev. He is going to be a depth option at middle linebacker. Isaiah Stanback is really interesting because he ended up playing receiver for the Cowboys. So we're going to make that receiver switch for him as well. 
Oh god, he's an 18 overall. <laughs> Holy shit. Maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, back to quarterback with you. <laughs> that was insane. Either way, bum. Normal dev. Nothing exciting. And then I simmed out at the sixth round, so we got Jake Ford, normal DN, Chris Denman, normal right tackle, Ramsey Robinson, normal cornerback, and Mike Johnson, 61 normal. But that leads us to how we're going to adjust our lineup. So, Marshall Yanda is going to start at right guard. Evan Mathis is going to start at left guard. Woody, obviously, is our starting center. And then I want... I'm going to keep the line from there as it is. Receiving core is going to stay as it is. Dion Branch, Brandon Marshall at the 1 and 2. Wes Welker is wide receiver 3. Tight end 2, obviously now Jason Witten. Antonio Gates there. Alright. And our defense pretty much remains the same. I... We have Harris and Puzlesny here. That will, that they'll be developing. But we got Brady James for now and Demario Williams and OJ Atogwe. And what would they? And Awesome Juan Samuel will make up our secondary along with Tremon Williams as the slot corner. Alright, because I think we can get like one more season out of Vinatieri before it's time to move on from him. But here we go, on to year six, the 2007 NFL season. Can we also go undefeated? All right, here we are, friends. The 2008 draft class, as you see, Matt Ryan, a big part of that. Gerard Mayo, who, was, who ended up going to the Patriots. Joe Flacco's here, Aqib Tlaib, CJ2K. There's a lot of, a lot of great options here. Ooh, Deshaun Jackson, nice. Well, that is kind of the snapshot here of the 2008 draft class. We have a dev trade situation for OJ Atagwe. By the way, we did not go undefeated. We've only, we've lost already, but hey, it happens. All right. Here, here, we're seven and three. Second place in the AFC East with our two division games against Miami coming up. Four of our next five games are all division, by the way. Now let's take a look at contracts here. We are going to move on from Adam Vinatieri. Matt Light wants a three-year deal. More importantly, we have to re-sign Namdi. Here we go, Namdi is re-signed. Darnell Dockett, he's next to get the contract. There we go. And Jared Allen. He wants a little more salary. Demario. Since we drafted David Harris and... Puzlesny, I think we can let him walk. And then we got Wes Welker. We'll throw him the deal. He's 29. 91 overall. I'll throw this one deal at him, see if he takes it. Oh, we need to come back to the table. I think that was, uh... Jared out. We have to come back to the table for it. But other than that, not bad. Year number six has come to an end. The Dolphins ended up winning the division, breaking our streak of consecutive 
Div titles at three. They had the tiebreaker over us, so. But let's take a look at the stats here. Tom Brady, 45, 43, 36 touchdowns, eight interceptions. Reggie Bush, 885 and nine. John Kuhn, 333 and 10. Not bad, and Jason Witten even got two rushing touchdowns. All right, today on Branch, 1,062 and five. Almost 1,006 for Antonio Gates, 911 and 12 for Wes Welker. Brandon Marshall had a bit of a down year, 625 and six. Reggie Bush chipped in two receiving touchdowns as well. Brady James led us in tackles with 110. 14 TFLs for Jared Allen, 13 for Vince Wilfork. 19 and a half sacks for Richard Seymour. Six sacks for Osni Uminiora. He even had a pick. Darnell at six, Jared Allen with five. Four and a half for Wilfork. Ooh, Tremont Williams, five picks. Three for Namdi, two for Asante. Nice. Any defensive touchdowns to speak of? No. Kick return touchdowns? No. And no punt return touchdowns either. We had the 14th ranked offense, and defensively we were 11th. As far as the yearly awards go, Chad Pennington won MVP. Tim Couch was third with the Giants. Interesting. Tom Brady at number seven on the list with MVP. Coach of the year went to the Giants. In the AFC, Chad Pennington, Offensive Player of the Year. Tom Brady at number four. Ooh, Romo's finally coming around. Aaron Rodgers on the list as well. Demarcus Ware is your Defensive Player of the Year. Richard Seymour at number four. He's definitely locked in the uh, D-line of the year, though. Megatron, your Offensive Rookie of the Year in the AFC. Defensive Rookie of the Year went to Justin Durant. No Patriots here. Tom Brady, number three for the best quarterback. Chad Pennington winning that. LT wins best running back. Reggie Bush at number seven. Justin Gage once again winning best receiver. Onomo Ojo. That is an interesting name. But Wes Welker is at number eight for receiver. Tariq Glenn, Damian Woody at two. Matt Light at six. Richard Seymour winning D-line of the year. Demarcus Ware wins best linebacker. No Patriots there. Tremont Williams at number three, but Pat Sertan wins it for the Dolphins. <coughs> Excuse me. And Alindo Mare wins best kicker. But we have to possibly run the gauntlet. So we're going to get our player upgrades in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, let's be honest. I'm just going to skip them. <laughs> we gotta find out if we're moving on. Ooh, we are moving on to find out who is really the best in the AFC East. Oh, Tom's got an upgrade point. With morale, he's a 99. Not quite a 99 yet. I'm going to auto up everybody. For now. Let's see if we get past Miami. The Dolphins end up beating us by six. To go on to play Peyton Manning and the Colts. And the Giants and the Lions are in the NFC title game. That's something I didn't expect to see. But the Giants did make the Super Bowl this year, so that's a thing. And it'll be the Giants and the Colts. Peyton Manning once again headed to the Super Bowl. Not against Eli, though. 
because to be honest, I don't remember where Eli is. <laughs> oh, I see you, the Pro Bowl roster. Tom Brady winning the Pro Bowl nod for the AFC. John Kuhn going to the Pro Bowl. Let's go. Ooh, for the first time in what feels like forever, Dion Branch isn't going to the Pro Bowl. Antonio Gates is going. Light's going. As is Damian Woody. Chad Clifton, who doesn't play for us anymore. Richard Seymour is going. OJ Atagwe is going to the Pro Bowl, though. That's lit. Super Bowl 42 contains the Giants and the Colts. Now, in real life, the Giants did go on to unseat the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl. Um, I'm just randomly scouting. Don't mind me. Mostly because I don't want the points to go to waste when I jump it forward but did anybody go up dev trace marshall Uganda, as expected superstar so far that is a no because lesney and damian harris are both superstar devs nice all right um Demario Williams is gone anyway after this season, so. We know dev trade increases that to speak of. So. Who wins the Super Bowl? A real life winner in the New York Giants. But some way that's the crooked crumbles. Let's see who's retired. Michael Strahan retires a champion. A, for as far as the AFC East is concerned, no Patriot retirements. Okay. But yes, I am going to let Demario Williams go because we have his replacements. And we are going to let Adam Vinatieri go as well. Is Sante Samuel a boost here? And Brady James can go up a point as well. And everyone else can get auto upped. Alright, let's see what's in free agency. I don't think I have a lot of money. Yeah, I have like nothing. <laughs> well, time to hope for the draft to give me some good stuff. Brett Favre has left the Packers. Wow. I never did not expect that one in this fictitious universe. That in the 2007 season, Favre would leave the Packers just like he did in real life. I wonder where he ends up signing. Like, I... Like, I gots to know if Brett Favre decided... Oh, he signed somewhere. He is signed with the Raiders. Nice. So Brett Favre is now a Raider. But um, I ain't going to do anything in free agency, so I'll see you at Draft Recap. All right, so the Draft Recap is upon us. Going into year number seven. <laughs> we drafted Calais Campbell in the first round. 74 hidden dev. Because truth be told, we don't know how long we're going to have... Richard Seymour for it. 
And I drafted Croy Beerman mostly as a depth move because he's going to be the backup to Jared Allen. Then we drafted Mario Manningham, 63 normal. Then we got Frank Oakham, 64 normal. Chester Adams, 64 normal. Kellen Davis, 59 normal. Ugh. And then Josh Barrett, 62 normal. And that's how our draft class leads into year number seven, which is the 2008 season. All right, here we have the 2009 draft class. Matthew Stafford was the highlight of the class, definitely. BJ Raji spent a lot of time with the Packers. Rackpo was a big name. If we go a little deeper dive. Ah, <laughs> butt fumble. I will never not refer to Mark Sanchez as anything but butt fumble. <laughs> Shady McCoy was in this draft class. Nice. Let's see. Ooh, Arian Foster was in this one as well. Um. Crabtree was here. Percy Harvin. Jeremy Macklin was in this one as well. Um, let's see. This one also had Julian Edelman. Pettigrew was here. And remember, Julian Edelman was a seventh round pick of the Patriots. So... Let's go notable defensive names. Obviously, we covered BJ Raji. Clay Matthews was in this draft class as well. And then Vontae Davis. Julius Bird. I think he was moved to safety in his career, personally. Robert Quinn is a notable name. Pat Chung spent a lot of time here in New England so that is the 2009 draft class good sir welcome to the 99 club oh snap for about midway point of the season anyway we'll get to that in a minute <laughs> but we are seven in one right now top dogs in the AFC East hopefully it stays that way we have some contracts we got to talk about here Vince Wilfork needs a re-sign, as does a couple of key key parts here. So firstly, Vince Wilfork, have the money. Ooh. Will I be able to re-sign John Kuhn at least? Thank God. I don't have money. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> well. I'm going to have to figure some stuff out. But Jared Allen is looking to go up to a superstar X Factor. So, hopefully he gets it. Oh, shit. Brandon Marshall's up for an X-Factor boost. All right. End of year number seven. Or year number two in this video, anyway. 2008 season wrapped, and we're 12 and four. Winners of the AFC East. Let's check our stats here. Tom Brady, 4,500 yards, 38 tutties. Let's go. Reggie Bush, first thousand yard season with seven scores. 240 and four for Kuhn. Nate Iloa, five tutties. Hey, Brady pitched in a rushing touchdown. Let's go. We got two thousand yard receivers in Antonio Gates and Wes Welker. Six tutties for Gates, nine for Welker, ten for Brandon Marshall. Just short of a thousand. Dion Branch, 862 and eight. Pretty good. All 
right. Brady James led the team in tackles with 107. Then 13 TFLs for Brady as well. The shit? 24 sacks for Richard Seymour. And 15 for Jared Allen. Seven and a half for Vince Wilfork. Dockett had six. Oh, wow. Not much for interceptions, but those sack numbers are insane. Second in the league in offense. And number two in defense. But for whatever reason, it didn't want to tell me. Peyton Manning ends up being your MVP. Tom Brady at number five. Coach of the year went to the Saints. Peyton is your offensive player of the year in the AFC. Tom Brady, number three. On that list there. Ooh, Brett Favre even making it on the list. Defensive player, you went to Demarcus Ware. I think Richard Seymour just got slighted. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to CJ2K. Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to DRC with Calais Campbell at number seven. Best QB. Peyton with Tom Brady at number two. Edge as the best running back. Reggie Bush, number seven. Justin Gage seems to win this award all the time. Brandon Marshall at six. Wes Welker at seven. Damian Woody winning best O-line. Best D-line. That one was going to be obvious. Best linebacker went to DeMarcus Ware with Jared Allen at number six. Best DB went to Cortland Finnegan. Best kicker went to Phil Dawson. But none of that matters if we can't get to the Super Bowl. So I'm just auto up everybody. We got a new ability for Ganda. Awesome. Speaking of which, what would our dev trades come out as? Calais hasn't come out yet. And I had one other. Did I have one other dev trade in the draft? No, I didn't. It was just Calais Campbell. Okay. But anyway, let's sim it. Let's do it live. Are we moving past the Raiders? We are. Everyone's going to get auto progressed again. Because again, I only upgrade my players after wins. Are we getting past Denver? We are. We are in the AFC title game against Pittsburgh. Who have somehow unseated Peyton and the Colts. Now, who went to the Super Bowl in this season? Let me look it up quick. There we go. This Super Bowl was the Steelers and the Cardinals in 2008. So, both teams made it, but will we beat the Steelers to face either Washington or New Orleans? Let's hope. Because by this time, the Patriots had five Super Bowl appearances. <laughs> no, four. In the era of Brady. The one before we start in, 03, 04, and 07. Yeah, they would have been on their fourth appearance in this run. Fifth overall. No, sixth overall, I'm sorry. You get what I meant. Oh, we lose by four to the Steelers. 
Now, the Steelers, I do believe, ended up winning the Super Bowl this year. Oh, that is brutal. We lost by two to Indy in the last video in an AFC title game. This time, four to Pittsburgh. Brady made the Pro Bowl. As did John Kuhn. Brandon Marshall made the Pro Bowl. Antonio Gates is in. Matt Light. Evan Mathis. Damian Woody. And that's it there. Richard Seymour. Oh, wow. All our Pro Bowlers are on the offensive end. Oh, that's heartbreaking, to be honest with you. But yeah, I'll dump these scouting points, and then we'll see what's what. The Steelers end up winning the Super Bowl 27-17 to over the, at the time, Redskins. Brett Favre officially retired. No retirements in the AFC East, so... have some money to work with we got will fork back do we keep a togway though he's 28 looking for a four-year deal and he's only an 80 overall and he'll probably regress pretty hard I am going to throw a deal at... I can't. Not like it matters. I can't re-sign them anyway, so... It says, apparently I don't have enough skill points to purchase the bucket when I have one. Whatever. <laughs> but anyway... We have, like, no money to work with. And to be fair, there's not really an upgrade that I think I want to be having. But did any of our boys go up dev traits? Alright. Strife, it's your time to start. Could put Jermon Bushrod on for starting reps because Woody ain't going anywhere anytime soon and he's a superstar dev. Alright, nothing on the offense. Defensively, nobody went up. Interesting. I do need a free safety though, but we're going to have to look to the draft for those things, so I'll see you at draft recap. Calais Campbell, by the way, was an X Factor. Alright, draft recap is here. So we ended up drafting Luis Delmas, he was 71 hidden dev, and then we got TJ Lang, 72 hidden. On the tackle, we drafted Andre Brown as a depth move. Then we got James Casey here. Ooh, hidden dev, let's go. Michael Bennett hidden dev as well. 69 overall. And Brandon Myers, normal. Because after the Brown pick, I just simmed out. If we're being completely honest. But now we are heading into the 2009 season, or otherwise, for this video's purposes, year number three. All right, here we are, year three, 2010 draft class. We have Sam Bradford at the top, Indominus Sue. Nice. That's like being notable to Brandon Graham, JPP. We're the quarterbacks here. Bradford, Tim Tebow. Not 
the greatest selection of quarterbacks from the 2010 class here. But, you know, I don't see us needing one of those yet. Officially, 99 club. All right. So we're at the bye week. We are currently 7-1. and one With a, only a game lead on the Jets right now. But contracts. Oh boy, we got some big ones. The most important important one right now is Brandon Marshall. Throw him the money, he stays. Next most important, Reggie Bush. There's so many important contracts that I have. Bethay. He signed up. I'll hold off on Evan Mathis for just a minute. Brady James can go. Damian Woody's going. cut some fat from the team because I have to get Richard Seymour definitely re-signed along with Evan Mathis alright OC's trying to go to X Factor and by the way we're 13 and 1 right now if you were wondering let's see if OC gets it <laughs> 15 and 1 we only lost one game the entire year. And just to show you, there was no shenanigans. I, we did lose by five to the Jets going into the bye week. I didn't touch a single game. But with that, we are the number one seed in the AFC. Let's see. 4,200 yards, 47 touchdowns, and five picks. Wow. <laughs> Brady lighting it up. 1,400 yards and seven for Reggie Bush. Andre Brown also got seven touchdowns. Tom Brady pitching in a rushing touchdown, giving him 48 on the year. Deion Branch, 947 and 13. 13 tutties to Wes Welker. Eight, 880 and nine. 909 and 7. Wow. To be fair, Bushrod's not starting. But he will be after this year. OC Yumanyora led the team in tackles today. Or today. This year. Oh my god, Richard Seymour. 23 sacks. Jared Allen with 11. 8.5 for OC. Wow. Okay, Asante Samuel. Talk your shit. <laughs> Eight picks for Asante. Number one offense. Give me number one defense. It better be number one defense. As it is. <laughs> Tom Brady is your MVP. If I'm not... I was going to say, if we're not coach of the year, there's a there's something wrong there. Tom Brady, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year went to Al Wilson. Richard Seymour, number three. Asante Samuel, number seven. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to Stafford. With Andre Brown at number seven. Defensive Rookie went to Brian Arakpo. Luis Delmas at number four. That was obviously going to be Brady. LT wins best running back. Reggie Bush was number two on the list. Best receiver, Gage again. Dion Branch at number four. Wes Welker at number nine. Best of line, Damian Woody. Matt Light at number two. Evan Mathis at number seven. Yonda at number nine. Richard Seymour, best D line as he should be. 
Keo Spikes was the best linebacker. O.C. Human Yura at number six. Jared Allen at number ten. Best DB, Asante Samuel. And Nick Folk, who is actually the current Patriots kicker. Number one with the Browns. Oh yeah, that's right. For whatever reason, Pat McAfee's a kicker in this draft class instead of a punter. But let's get the upgrades off. I'll just auto up everybody. Yeah, we are facing the Jets in the divisional round. I still don't know how I'm going to re-sign Richard Seymour. Unless for whatever reason he retires. All right. AFC title game is here. The 12 and 4 Bengals against the 15 and 1 New England Patriots. Are we going to the Super Bowl for the first time in this seat? That is now 3 times we've lost in the AFC title game. And this year's Super Bowl would have been the Colts and the Saints. Because now we're getting into more recent memory of Super Bowls. But the Lions and the Bengals. Oh. Tom Brady in the Pro Bowl, as is Reggie Bush, John Goon. Deion Branch making the Pro Bowl again. Antonio Gates, Matt Light, Mathis, Woody. Richard Seymour making the Pro Bowl. O.C. Yuminyora. Sante Samuel. If he was still on my team. Oh. That is... Fucking brutal, man. Ugh. All right, let's see who won the Super Bowl. If the Bengals pick up their first Super Bowl ever, defeating the Lions 24-17. Retirements. Okay, nobody retired on our team. Uh, okay, so here's the conundrum, the unique conundrum we have. We have Calais Campbell waiting in the wings, who's also an X Factor. Richard Seymour is also a 99 overall. But he also wants a four year deal. Can I bring it up slightly? Franchise tag him, it's one year, 23 and a half. Which will make it so I can't, I literally can't re sign anybody. Except my partner. Can I re sign Tremont? I can. Can't let Richard Seymour go yet. It just cannot be done. But will that come back to bite me though? We're, we're gonna have to re sign Brady soon. This is tough. I ain't got 
could flip to a 4-3 to utilize both of my X factors by moving play as Campbell into D tackle, but that leaves pass rushers on islands in a 4-3 setup. Oof, we are in a tough spot, y'all. But any depth trade increases? No. Okay. But we have we have studs all over the board as far as our team is concerned. Luis Delmas on defense is literally the only weak spot. Right, we're gonna kick TJ Lang in the left guard. Get him to be a starter there. Which he did play guard in the NFL for the Packers, so. Oof. There's obviously we have like no money to speak of. But we have Woody's replacement on books, so. We have absolutely loaded this team, but I'll see you after draft recap, friends. All right, 2011 draft class is here, highlighted by Cam Newton and Von Miller. Julio's in here. J.J. Watt. There's a lot of good things in this draft class. Cam is literally the only quarterback, like, even remotely draftable. Ingram's in here. DeMarco Murray had a good little run. Ooh, AJ Green was in this class as well. Nice. As was Randall Cobb. We should probably look at right tackle Ooh, Marcus Cannon was in this draft class who is he, I don't know if he's still with us or not but that's neither here nor there all right this tells me number one seed once again and it's confirmed now this was the Super Bowl where the Packers faced the Steelers in Super Bowl 45 but stats on the oh I never looked at contracts. I just simmed it straight to the playoffs. Cause I, I just, ugh. 43, 28 and 40 touchdowns for Tom Brady. 1111 for Reggie Bush. There we go. Brady even shipping in a rushing touchdown there. Dion Branch finally over a thousand again with 11 tutties, 10 tutties for Antonio Gates. Five yards shy of a K. Oof, that's rough. David Harris led the team in tackles with 108. Richard Seymour <laughs> having a down year in sacks was 17. <laughs> That's weird to say. Asante Samuel oh, putting up five picks. Let's go. We've had the fifth offense in the league. Number six defense. All right, let's look at the yearlies. Chad Pennington wins MVP. Tom Brady at number four. Coach of the year went to the Cowboys. Pennington, Offensive Player of the Year. Tom Brady, number two. DJ Williams was the Defensive Player of the Year. Richard Seymour, number six. Offensive rookie went to Emmanuel Sanders. Defensive rookie, Indominus Sue. Oh, the reason I skipped the draft recap I just draft depth people that would make a difference on the team by the way Brady wins best QB Reggie Bush is four LT wins the best running back this gauge kid cannot be stopped apparently 
Dion Branch, number seven in receivers. Kendall Simmons wins the best O-line. Matt Light is the only Patriot on the list this year. As expected. <laughs> Asante Samuel winning best DB two years in a row. Is there a way I can get two re-signs from here? No. Ugh. I fucked up. <laughs> Such is life, I suppose. This is what I get for getting extremely, like, rushy. <laughs> All right. Ooh, we're on to the AFC title game. Getting past the Jets. Now, will we get past Houston to go to the Super Bowl? Oh my God. If this is anything, it's us coming up short. In the AFC title game. The heartbreak loss to the Colts. Bengals, the Steelers, and now the Texans. Brady's in the Pro Bowl. John Kuhn. Antonio Gates is in. Matt Light. He's not with us anymore. Richard Seymour, that was obvious. Sante Samuel, number one guy. A lot of falling short when we need it the most. Like, ugh. If there is a bit of good news to be had out of all of this. OC Human Yora just went up to X Factor. Shut down? No, he's an edge rusher. Like, why would you... We're gonna give him Fearmonger. He's gonna have... Because he's a speed rusher. Under pressure and edge threat. And how is Sante Samuel hasn't gone up to his X factor? I don't know. He should definitely be one, though. Reggie Bush just went up to X factor. Ooh, okay. I'm all right with this. Let's jump ahead. Because we have big things we gotta do. The Vikings end up winning the Super Bowl. Dante Culpepper is the Super Bowl MVP. Alright. 22 contracts you have to worry about. The most important one he only wants one year. It looks like Tom's going to be... De We're going to let Dion Branch go. Uh, I'm going to bring... We're definitely bringing back... We have a lot of golds that we have to bring back here. But most importantly... Tom Brady. He's going to go into the free agency market which is fine. I'm okay with it. And Seymour goes into the free agency pool as well. Namdi only wants one year. He's going to free agency. We can at least get John Coon re-signed. 
We're gonna let Witten walk because we have Antonio Gates, who's still an X Factor. No, I want you on a four year deal. Welker, he's starting to regress. He can go. Give me a five year deal on Mason. Bushrod can have two more. I'm going to try to get Richard Seymour back. $38 million to franchise tag Tom Brady. Uh, what I'll do is we'll let them hit free agency. 23 and a half. Ugh. Yeah, we'll let them hit the open market. All right, so now we can kind of, okay, we have a snapshot of what we can do here. Obviously, we're going after Tom Brady. He wants $36 million. Knowing what we know of Tom Brady in the future, what? Ninety-two points. That puts us on top of the list. And then obviously, we wouldn't have enough. I can actually bring this down more. Seventy-seven. I'm gonna bring it back up just a tad. So I still have more more points than the Giants. I don't have enough money to get Richard Seymour. They must be offering him hella bucks, dude. But we can try and get Namdi back? Worth his only offer. Alright. Let's see. Namdi's back. Brady declined. Who did you end up signing with, Tom Brady? You end up going to Seattle. Ooh, we are not in a good position now. And Seymour went to Atlanta. Okay, uh... So... What do we have for quarterbacks? Uh, Derek Carr is here. Aaron McNair for a year. Yeah, I think we'll do Aaron McNair for a year. Kick the can down the road just slightly. Because I'm not interested in any of the quarterbacks in this class. I'm just not. But that, the end of an era happened way sooner than anybody thought it would. Tom Brady is not a Patriot anymore. And we're just getting into 2011. Wow. Alright, draft recap. We ended up picking Marcus Gilbert at the 30th pick. He was a hidden dev. Hidden dev and hidden dev. Pernell McPhee, also a hidden dev. LaShore was a normal. They got Chimidi Chekwa, 68 normal. Bob Sand, 60-something normal. Normal again. 
Team Dent, 63 normal. There's a lot of normal devs going on here. But it's okay. It fills out a lot of depth spots, so I'm okay with it. Well, obviously, the big highlight picks are the first three in Gilbert, Cobb, and Tory Smith. We just lost Wes Welker and Dion Branch, so instant replacements there. On to the 2011 season in year number five of episode two. You can tell it's been a, a day or two since I last recorded because new shirt. Anyway, we're here at the 2012 draft class here. <laughs> As you know, it was highlighted by one Andrew Luck and RG3. But other notable names in here, Ryan Tannehill, Luke Keekley was a big one. Stephon Gilmore is in this draft class. <laughs> Let's see, Chandler Jones, who was picked up by the Patriots. DeCastro's in here. Dante Hightower, also a Patriot. Let's see. Other notable names in here. Nick Foles, Kirk Cousins is in here. This draft class also contained uh, one Russell Wilson. You know, on Wisconsin there, man. Ah, Muscle Hamster, Doug Hart, Doug Martin. Why did I wanted to call him Harton? I don't know. <laughs> Brandon Bolden, longtime Patriot. Jonas Gray had a spell with the Patriots. Had like a 200-yard game, fumbled, and we never seen him again. <laughs> All right, notable. Ooh, Alshon Jeffrey was in this class. Mohamed Sanu, T.Y. Hilton, Nick Toon. Fun fact, Nick Toon and I actually lived in the same apartment building when I lived in Madison many years ago. Cole Beasley was in this class. Alright. Notable tight ends. Nobody, really. I really had any staying power in the league. Kobe Fleener had a good couple of years, but. Alright, notable defensive names. I'm trying to see ones I, like, readily remember. Obviously, Chandler Jones. Bruce Irvin I th ended up playing, I think, linebacker for Seattle. Mike Daniels, longtime Packer and former Lion. Dontari Poe, Fletcher Cox was in this class. Let's see. Right, Mac Melvin Ingram was Levante David, who's still killing it with Tampa Bay. Obviously, Keekly Hightower, Bobby Wagner as well. All right, nobody really of note here. Ah, <laughs> fucker. I know it says fucker, but ha, <laughs> fucker. Mo, Mo Claymore is in here. Gilmore, Janoris. Uh, what, what was it? Jack Rabbit. That's what his nickname was. Josh Norman was in this draft class. He had a good stretch there when he was with Carolina. Kind of fell off after when he joined Washington, but... Free safeties of no, not really. Deshaun Gibson was a good little uh, success story. Harrison Smith was here. Oh shit. Alright, then Greg the Leg. Justin Tucker was in this draft class. Marquette King, Johnny Hacker, right on. Oh, also, you see that new logo in week four. It turns out. Buffalo relocated to Texas, so that's interesting. I will see y'all about the midway point. Mostly a reminder for me, but in case you forgot, Tom Brady left us. He's now in Seattle. All right, we are out of the bye week here. We're sitting at five and two, doing a lot better than I thought we would post Tom Brady here. 
But we are top dogs in the division as of the moment. We got some contracts we got to talk about. Ooh, we got some big ones. Okay, a lot of our vets are aging and on the wrong side of 30. <laughs> Oh, so he wants five more years. I don't know if I can commit to that. Especially, I mean, he's a 95 overall X Factor. <sighs> There's a lot of big money decisions here. What do we have for Cap? A lot, actually. Okay. I'm less worried about these resigns now. So firstly, David Harris, yes, take my money. He wants more money. Okay. Puzlozny, take my money. Alright. Uh, we're gonna let Air McNair walk after the season because I plan on going quarterback in the draft. That's the plan anyway. Weatherford. Eh, you know what? We'll throw a bag to the punter. He wants more money. Okay. All right, Darnell Dockett. <sighs> uh, Asante Samuel and Namdi are getting really old too. Oh man. Uh, see, I don't know about, cause I would take OC till he's 34. We don't know how far he's gonna regress. I will throw this at Vince Wilfork, though. He wants more money. Gates. Here we go. He sticks around. Alright. Samuel. He wants more money. Namdi. Signs up. Jared Allen. Wants more money. Docket. Wants more salary. Okay, there's a lot of negotiating I'm going to have to do, apparently. I don't know if I want to... You know what? I'll throw it at him. If he takes it, he takes it. All right. So we'll come back to the table on everybody else before the season is over. Randall Cobb breakout? Let's hope so. By the skin of our teeth, we make the division, we make the playoffs. It was looking a little rough there, but winning in week 17 sealed it for us. <laughs> All right, well, let's see where we sit statistically. 11th in offense. 28th and D. Oh, God. But Air McNair, 4,100 yards, 33 touchdowns, and 9 picks. Nice. But Reggie Bush, 1,108 tutties. Andre Brown and 7 tutties. One rushing touchdown for Air McNair. No 1,000 yard receiver, oddly. But Gates led with 986, 9 touchdowns. Randall Cobb, 922 and 10. Brandon Marshall, 9, 10, and 7. Torrey Smith, only 405 and 3. Ugh. All right, defensively, David Harris and Puzlozny, both over 100 tackles. 12 TFLs for Mr. Will Fork. OC led in sacks of 10 and a half, 9 and a half for Will Fork, 7 for Jared Allen, 5 for Dockett. Puzlozny even put up 4 and a half sacks. Nice. Both Asante and Nambi, each with four picks. Oh, we even had a safety in there. Nice. No defensive touchdowns. No kick return tutties. And no punt return tutties, which is fine. Yearly awards. Quincy Carter of the Cowboys wins MVP. Coach of the year went to that of the Broncos. AFC Matthew Stafford wins Offensive Player of the Year. 
Air McNair at number five. DPOI went to Al Wilson. Any Patriots on the list? No. Offensive Rookie of the Year went to Cam Newton with Randall Cobb at number two. Torrey Smith at number five. Then Michael LaShore at number ten. Ryan Kerrigan wins Defensive Rookie of the Year with Jim DiCecqua at number nine. Best QB went to Breeze. Air McNair was seven. LT wins Best Running Back. Reggie Bush at number five. Gage, once again, wins best receiver. Randall Cobb at number eight. Best O-line went to the Steelers. No Patriots here. Best D-line went to John Henderson. No Patriots here. Dansby wins best linebacker. O.C. Humaniora at number ten. Asante Samuel and Nandi are one and two for best D-back. Suck up wins best kicker with Mason Crosby at number five. <coughs> Excuse me. But we need to know if we make it out of the wild card round against Cincinnati here. And we made it out of the wild card round. Let's go. And we are now up against the Chargers. Let's see if we make it to the AFC title game. Oh. But we are now up against the 14 and 2 Broncos. Oof. This is going to be rough. But I think this is our fifth AFC title appearance. I'll have to go through all the footage and look again, but Here it is. Moment of Oh god, we made the Super Bowl. Holy shit. Bro, about time. After four failed attempts in the AFC title game, we finally make it to the Super Bowl. And we will be doing battle with the San Francisco 49ers. Let's see if anybody went up in dev trade, though. Alright, so nothing on offense, so it would seem. All this with a 69 overall left tackle. Oof. Asante went up to X Factor. Let's go. And now McPhee's dev trade is still hidden though. We weren't able to re-sign Jared Allen, by the way. So that's something we're gonna have to worry about. But finally, a play of the moments. In what is year number 10 of this from past to present with the Patriots, our first Super Bowl and fourth appearance of Patriot history in this universe. All right, here we are. Super Bowl Sunday. I'm not going to jump in at all. At least not for this first Super Bowl anyway. Let's see if the merit of our team gets it done. Ooh, we go up 10-0 over the Niners. Make that 17-0. We go 17-3 at half. 17-6. Alright, it all comes down to this. It's done. Patriots win their first Super Bowl in this rebuild. Let's go. You're up against a tough champ. Our defense held up. Put in the finest. Oh, man. I don't feel like sitting through that whole uh, presentation there. Let's go over the stats quick. Here in the Super Bowl. 22 with 35 for 275 and a touchdown for Air McNair. He also ran for seven. 46 rush yards for Reggie Bush. Andre Brown, 23 yards and a tutty. Antonio gained seven catches for 61. Brandon Marshall, 90 yards and a touchdown. 
Corey Smith 37, Cobb 64, or that's Reggie Bush rather. <laughs> Defensively, Bethay and Tremont led the team in tackles. Only one TFL, one sack, and Tremont Williams got a pick. Let's go. The first Super Bowl post Tom Brady, believe it or not. We went all those years with Tom Brady. Four failed AFC title games. One year with Aaron McNair. And we win a Super Bowl. You know, I might throw a one-year deal at Aaron McNair should he not retire. But we'll worry about all that here in a minute. Once I get my important people upgraded anyway. If it's not a little stuffed up, I've been sick the last couple of days, but I wanted to get some something out here for you. But alright. Okay, we're moving on. So season recap. Super Bowl MVP was Air McNair. Let's go. And um, actually, since we're now 10 years in, just to kind of recap you, the Raiders won two in a row. Then the Eagles get their first Super Bowl. Then the Vikings get their first one. The Colts win here. The Giants defeat the Colts there. The Steelers get a St Super Bowl win. Cincinnati gets a Super Bowl win. The Vikings get their second, and now the Patriots get on the board in this rebuild here. So hopefully, you're all liking it. In the next episode, we're going to be doing the offseason and the 2012, 13, 14, 15, and 16 NFL seasons. So, I'll see you soon. Good day, goodbye, good night. Every day when I wake up, wake up, I make sure to get my things. My yes, I haven't given up. Oh no, I'm still trying to find.